Bitcoin and Litecoin, pump or dump? How you guys doing this Thursday? Crypto Savvy here. We're going to take a look at the charts, starting out with Litecoin, moving on to Bitcoin. And then towards the end of the video, if you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you definitely stick around. We're going to take a look at the Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart and why I believe Bitcoin can hit 46,000 by the end of the year. I know it sounds bold, but stick around to the end. And another thing, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section down below to get you entered to win a free t-shirt with your drawing on Sunday. Also, there is some affiliate links down below to help the channel out, guys. Uh, definitely check that out. It's in this description box below, along with a free Discord group. Um, we're going to take a look at some more immediate moves that are about to happen in Litecoin or Bitcoin. And hopefully it'll be this video will be out before it happens. But if you did belong to the Discord, I did post charts in there this morning showing these moves. So anyways, um, definitely check out the affiliate links. If you guys are looking to get into leverage trading, there's also a link to Prime XBT down there. Uh, goes up to 100 times leverage. Not that I suggest you do that, especially if you don't have experience, but it is down there if you want to check it out. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind, it is still a speculative market. Don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And let's get on with this. But first, if you're new here, or you haven't already hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand side of the screen. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. And if you tick the notification bell, that'll get you notified when I post new videos. I do post every day, so that way you don't miss out on anything. Also, guys, smash the likes, leave your comments, let me know what you think. All right, looking at Litecoin on the daily, um, we're going to take a look quick at our measured moves up here. Um, and this, the first one, the 167 area, is this as a cup and a handle. Neckline right at the 94 range. Put it up here. That gets us to 167. And I still am feeling very strongly about that price. So there's another one here. I have a uh, measured move from the 109 as a neckline. And if we pull that one up to where we break out, that gets us up to the 192. I also have a higher target up there, guys, which is the 253. And that is looking at this as a ascending broadening wedge, the two yellow lines, and we put it to, depending on where we break out, if we break out, you know, it's gonna be around the 250 range, maybe between, you know, 200 and 300, somewhere in there. But obviously we'll check that out the closer we get. We are gonna take out, a, take a look at a more immediate move, but first we're gonna take a look at the daily um, RSI. So we're still staying within this channel. There's enough room to have another little dip down here before you know uh, possibly moving up but we do have to watch this if we do break down we may be continuing a correction which would be the bear scenario so we'll take a look at that also guys let's take a look at the four hour and looking at the four hour it looks like we are about to pop try to pop out we're looking like we're attempting to pop out of this falling channel here as you can see we had one over here we popped out fell into another falling channel popped out and now we're into this one. I also have this blue lines here with this right channel within the falling channel. So if we do pop out of here, I'm gonna look for resistance around in this area. And we're gonna take a look at that in the price. So, like I said, we're gonna take a look at a more immediate price move also, guys. So, all right, I'm gonna try to make this video pretty quick today. Um, but I am gonna go into a little bit more detail on this move because let's see all right i posted this in the discord this morning um as you can see i have this triangle drawn here and i did a measured move for the break up and the breakdown and that's just measuring uh, excuse me just measuring the channel so i'm measuring a, if we were to break out here we're going to look around the 115 range guys um but if, if you guys are don't know how to trade, um, obviously you should be trading, but 
the way to trade this would be you know to to put your order above the triangle here if we had a breakout but do keep in mind they can have fake outs and bear or bull traps and go up and come right back in so make sure you set stop losses and the same for if you was going to try to short which i do not short bitcoin and will not short bitcoin but anyways that's the target for breaking up and then the target for breaking down is right around that 192 range which we have been watching for quite some time guys um, and it depends on how you're looking at this um, obviously this could be a a continuation pattern because it is a symmetrical triangle but it's at the bottom of this move which would suggest that it could be a bear flag coming down so we had been looking at these blue lines as a rising wedge here and that would be touching the bottom and like i said that was the area we have been watching now if we were to break down and come down to the 92 and then obviously that would be my more, more bearish scenario if we broke this 92 and come down in this range my next area of support is this old resistance over here around the 6224 then if that wasn't to hold if we go down there which i don't think we're gonna guys but if we were to go down there and that doesn't hold my next stop is the 54 for support and that's the long-term trend line i don't see us ever going below this trend line so the longer we stay above it the higher this trend line gets anyways um so yeah that's where i'm at with that now we're going to do the same we're going to take a look at bitcoin and look at the more immediate here in a minute but i'm going to show you these targets first and this 9622 if you guys have been watching my videos i still believe we are definitely headed up to this at least this area so what the heck i locked up here there we go sorry about that so the, the way i got that move was if you look right here i have this ascending broadening wedge drawn in here and this is where we broke out and if we measure from the breakout the width of the wedge right there and put it to the breakout that's what gets me to that uh, 96 9600 range i still strongly believe that's where we're headed guys unless we break through the bottom of this rising channel here um and actually it's still in effect unless we break back through the top of this wedge uh going down so that's where i'm at with that and then my next target is this 11 4 area and that is a measured move if we were to break out in this area well actually if we were to break out of this rising channel you know from around that 9600 area if it was to break through my measured move there is the 12,000 range um definitely possible guys i know everybody's calling for these you know the saying we got to go lower nobody knows what it's got to do i don't believe it has to go lower um i'm not saying it won't but i don't believe it has to so whoops let me uh i don't know what is going on with this thing today i don't know if i got something running in the background that i forgot about or what but anyways um and then obviously i have this uh 11 4 area and that is a measured move from the width of this channel as you can see i have this here from the top to the bottom of the channel and if we were to break out around that 96 then i get the uh, uh so that's minimal if we break out of this channel would be the 11,400. but like i said using this both this flagpole measurement and putting it up here then we get the 12 5 12 or i'm sorry 12,000. so anyways that's where we're at with that now let's go into the rsi real quick and see what's going on in there looking at the daily rsi now I had this drawn as a falling wedge which we popped out of now that could be still in effect and we could be testing the bottom of it or if we clone this line here and bring it over would that leave us a falling channel um if it did we have obviously more room to go down but I'm gonna see what happens here with this falling wedge and see if this gives us resistance coming back up and then we we have further to go or what but remember this is the daily so let's look at the four hour and see what that's telling us in the rsi all right so four hour in the rsi if you were watching yesterday i drew this 
falling channel and it looks like we got support off the bottom got back inside this long-term rising channel and now we most likely are going to come up here and break out of this falling channel so i do see more up movement um but keep in mind we do got to keep Keep in our mind that the bearish scenario is always still there. So let's look into the more immediate price action. Same thing, guys. I posted this on my Discord along with the Litecoin move. This is what I'm watching right now. And the measured move off of both of those. And I do want to point out, as long as we stay in this rising channel which I'll, without breaking this line, on the, this bottom trend line if we break this bottom trend line then i'm looking at the more bearish scenario which would be these targets down here uh the 7160 76 32 but let's take a look at this more immediate move right now and see what we're looking at same thing as in litecoin i drew this triangle in here and actually it looks kind of funny let me straighten it out there we go so same thing as in Litecoin, I did a measured move of the width of the triangle since it's a symmetrical triangle and the break of that would get us around that, right around the 8400 to 8450 range and a break down from here would be around the 7160 which matches up with our bearish scenario on this side. Now the other way to look at this, we could take a longer take a measured move from here measuring this as a bull flag and putting it to where it broke down and that gets us to if you guys been watching worst case scenario 6600 bucks i do not see bitcoin going below that that is still my worst case scenario um but yeah unless we break the bottom of this channel i don't see these happening um but if it did, like I said, we, the first stop we'd be looking at is a 7160, which is also the top of this long-term rising broadening wedge that I showed you in the beginning. And if that was to fail, then it's 6600. And when we take a look at the Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly, then you're gonna see the same area 6600 and why I don't believe we're gonna go below that if we even get down that low. So. That's where I'm at with that, guys. That's the their bearish scenario and your bullish scenario. Um, once we get up here, if we get up here and this triangle breaks out, we could come back down, test this channel again, and you know stay in this channel for a little while, or could go straight up to the 9600 area. Um, time will tell. We'll see what's happening there. I do want to remind you guys, I am totally against the paid groups and the guys out there on YouTube having you pay for their courses and whatnot. Don't do that, guys. You're getting ripped off. It's a bunch of bullshit. There's plenty of free information on the internet. Learn it. You know, do your own research. Check it out. And don't start trading until you understand it. There's uh, tons of free information. Tons. Just, you know, look it up. Watch videos. Learn. And then try it and watch the charts. Even if you, you pay for them courses and they teach you their way of trading because there's millions of different or not millions tons of different ways to trade depending on your situation what you're trying to do so if they're teaching you their strategy it may not work for you and also basically they're going to teach you how to do everything you can learn for free and they, they can't give you experience the only way to get experience is doing it so don't pay for their crap learn it for free learn the different techniques and different methods of trading and uh, charting and then start playing with it and see what works for you and what your goals are. But anyways, sorry to vent about that, but I just, I, I cannot stand people paying for these courses. If anybody out there has, leave your comment in the comment section down below and, and give me an honest opinion of what happened with your paid uh, courses or whatever. I, I'd really be interested to check that out. So anyways, Moving on to the Bitcoin daily chart. This is Bitcoin on the daily chart and this is on Bitstamp. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to explain to you from each peak, I drew a trend line down to where it broke out at 6,000 or broke down from 6,000. And I also do a, drew a trend line over here from a peak over here in 2017 and it touched all these 
support zones that we were getting in the 2018 bear market. And I brought it across. We'll check that out in a minute. But take a good look at that. And this is my year end target, at least, guys. Um, I do believe we're going to head there unless we break the 6,600. Then my mind might change. But until then, and I do believe 66 will hold if we get there. I don't see it breaking. But this is my end of the year target. 46,000. Now I'm going to switch over to the gold daily. Keep an eye on the yellow line. Keep an eye on the chart. And look at the similarities. As you can see, very, very close similarities. And as you can see how gold bottomed out here, just like Bitcoin has bottomed out here. Now we had two touches on this bottom trend line before obviously a huge move up. And right here in 2003, the gold ETF was approved. And a lot of people say that the ETF won't do anything and whatnot. Well, you can see what it did to gold. Do, make your own decision and judgment on that. But if this was in 2003 when the gold ETF was approved, and you can see what happened after that. Another thing I want to talk about is why I think the diaper wave theory is bullshit. And I feel sorry for everybody that got screwed waiting on that $1,000 Bitcoin. Um, and we still got the big guys out there calling for 4,000 and whatnot. If you didn't learn the first time, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Guys, you got to learn to chart on your own. Don't take people's opinion uh, from YouTube, including me. And, you know, they're like Tom Vase and them and Tyler make fun of, you know, YouTube people. Don't listen to YouTube, whatever. Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, but newsflash, you're both on YouTube. You're both YouTubers. Anyways. Um, I just, I, I'm really upset with that. So many people lost their ass waiting for ridiculous lows that still are not going to happen and, you know, lost their ass. But anyways, you see the resemblance in here and I'm done with my rant. But you see the resemblance in here and just like I said in Bitcoin, look here, we had the two touches on the bottom trend line. And each one of these trend lines that I drew from each peak down to where it broke down from 6,000 acted as resistance and became support when we broke through. This is why I do not believe we will see below 6,600. If we were to drop down directly today, it's around the 6,650. I do believe this line is going to hold as support. And um, you know what? I'm going to make this line blue. And I'm going to make it a little bit fatter because I do believe this is going to hold. So anybody doing any charting, I definitely suggest you draw this in. And I drew it from this peak over here, September of 17. And then it had three touches here as support, actually four touches as support from the 2018 bear market. I do believe that'll hold if we make it down that far, which I don't even think we're going to go that far. But if we do, I definitely believe that's going to hold, guys. Now I'm going to go into the weekly RSI and take a look at that and show you the similarities there, too. I don't know how this little, little thing got in here. Let me get it out of there. What the hell? All right. As you can see, 2013 bull market followed by the bear market. Drew this trend line in, we had two touches of resistance, blew through, and bull market began. Same thing, 2017 bull market, 2018 bear market, two touches of resistance on this trend line, blew through. As you can see, once we get up into this oversold and we start having dips, just like we did over here, or overbought, I'm sorry, overbought, and then we'd start having dips. Well, we know what happened in 2017. These really weren't much, and I think that's Basically what we're starting now. I'm going to show you why I believe this bull market is going to be a lot quicker. If you look at the monthly RSI, of these two arcs drawn in here. This one is beginning with 2013 bull market, followed by the bear market. Each one of these arrows represents a new low in the RSI. We had four of them before starting the bull market. This is the 2017 bear bull market, 2018 bear market, Four lows on the RSI, just like over here, and starting the starting the bull market again. <coughs> Excuse me. The only difference is, guys, 
right here. It's going to be a lot quicker arc, actually, probably even quicker than that. So anyways, that's my view and my opinion. And if you like it, I suggest you subscribe to the channel by taking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. And then you take the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes, guys. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I'm out.